So you're here for how to buy hosting or hosting with a free domain, definitely a solid choice. The first step here is going to be clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment. Now we keep it updated so you're always getting the best deal and you can also easily follow along. Stick around too because there's a way to save even more money coming up. So when you do click that, you'll land on a page that looks very similar to this. Sometimes they can change it around, but you're going to have a good idea that you're in the right spot. Here as it shows, you get to save up to 75% off web hosting and plenty of great perks to go along with it. Once you arrive here, what you want to do is click on the claim deal button. And what it's going to do is scroll down to the pricing plan. So what I want to do here is just quickly talk about these to make sure that you know which one is going to be perfect for you. So I don't know anything about you, but if you are brand new to creating websites, you're going to be creating your first one, then premium is probably going to be best. It says everything you need to create your website. Even better, you get 25 websites, 25,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs of storage. You get 50 mailboxes and along with that weekly backups. Now, clearly you get many other perks, but those are some of the biggest ones that are going to differ when you're going from, say, premium to business. So business is going to be their most popular version. And even if you were creating your first website, there's some good reason why you might want to use this one as well. It says you can level up with more power and enhanced features. And a big reason here you might want to level up to the business going from premium to business is that it's only $1 more per month. So that's something to keep in mind as well. With this, you now get 50 websites, 100,000 visits monthly, 50 gigs of storage, you get 100 mailboxes. And this is one of the biggest features that I love comparing and talking about. I think that it's a sleeper pick here in terms of the features. It allows you to protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. So daily backups are stored for seven days and weekly backups are stored for seven weeks. So if you're like me and you feel like you're prone to breaking things, which I have definitely done in the past, this can be very helpful. Compared to the previous plan where it's a weekly backup. So if you have this, say you created a ton of content, you made new changes to your website, and then you broke something, what this is going to allow you to do is back up to the day previously. But if you didn't have that, you might have to back up to say a week before, and you might lose out on a lot of work that you did to your website, whether it be blog posts, content, rebranding, changing things around, and so on and so forth. So if you like a little bit more security when it comes to backups, this is definitely something that you just might want to have. So that's also going to be a big perk that comes along with business. And cloud startup is pretty straightforward. If you just want the most amount of performance and power, you get 100 websites, 200,000 visits, 100 gigs of storage, you get 200 mailboxes, and of course, the daily on-demand backups. And of course, there's going to be a few other features that are a little bit different, but the ones I highlighted, in my opinion, are some of the biggest and the standout ones. So with that information, you should be able to make a great choice here. In this example, I'm just going to choose the business plan to show you how it works, but pick the one that works best for you by clicking on the choose plan button just like this. All right, and now we come to my favorite part of this video tutorial. So as you can see right here, you're already getting a discount of 71% and you can increase that even more. What you want to do is click on the have a coupon code link right here and it's going to bring down a Dropbox. Now what you want to do if you look in the description or the pinned comment, I'm going to have a coupon code for you there. So all you need to do is either copy and paste it here or type it in, click on apply and you're going to save a little bit more money making your price even lower. Now I don't want to mention what the coupon code is just so if it ever changes I don't confuse anyone. Similar to my link I'm always going to be updating that so that you have a coupon that doesn't expire or of course just works when you're looking to purchase. Okay, so that's going to be the coupon code section. Let's move on now over to the payment period. So there's going to be multiple payment periods. And as you can see, uh, there's going to be four and the ones towards the bottom, in my opinion, are going to be the best deal. If you go with 48 months, not only do you get your free domain, but you get three months free included in this order. And that's specifically with the 48 months pay period. It's going to average out to around $4 a month. And after that, it's going to renew at $14 a month. Okay, so Let's move to 24 months. As you can see, you just get your free domain. You don't get the plus three months. It renews at $14 a month for a year. And the difference here is going to average out to about $4.49 a month. If you move to 12 right here, once again, you get your free domain. 
this renews at $14 a month again, and this averages out to about $5 a month. Okay. And last and definitely least, I never recommend using a month. I don't think I've ever done this or recommended it to anyone. As you can see, it's just straight up $14 a month from the beginning, plus a $5 setup fee, and you don't even get a free domain. So it's just not worth doing in my opinion. So if you want the best value overall and saving the most amount of money, I would recommend 48 months. But you know, one of these is clearly going to be the best, whether it's 12, 24, or 48. Ideally, if you're gonna be doing your website, you think for a good amount of time, it would make sense to go with the maximum one here just because you pay the least amount. Plus you have that coupon code, make sure you enter it in, click on apply and you'll save a little bit more. So that's gonna be the payment period part. Now once you're done with that, you have your coupon code in, let's click on continue. All right, so this is gonna be where you register. You can add in your email address and your password or you can register with Google. Just importantly, make sure that you use a primary or your best email here because you're gonna be getting details sent to your email, obviously about your hosting or account when you sign up and so on and so forth. Once you do that, click on register. And the last step is simply going to be making the purchase and paying. So something I do wanna mention, we did talk about getting a free domain. Hostinger does it a little bit differently. So when you make your purchase and you get your free domain, domain, it's going to be done after you purchase and you can do that on the inside of your dashboard. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that very quickly in case you were curious about that because the video is about getting, you know, hosting and a free domain. So it is going to be done after you purchase. Just wanted to make sure you are clear on that and how it works. But anyway, that is going to be the tutorial about how you can buy hosting or hosting with free domain and of course how you can get a nice little discount in the process. If you were just walking through the video to see how the process works and you would like to get up and running now, don't forget to click that link in the description or the pinned comment to get the best deal possible. And when you are going through the payment period section, be sure to use my coupon code to save a little bit more. And that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this quick hosting or tutorial and I hope that you enjoy hosting or as much as I do.